So one of the main questions that I get pretty often is, hey, how do you get to the place where you fish for white bass on the Salt River? And so the place that I fish is on the upper end of Taylorsville Lake on River Road. Um, but what I wanted to do is just show you all exactly how to get there. And for today's demonstration, I am driving from Mount Washington um, but really you can use these directions coming from Louisville or coming from anywhere because I'm going to try to break it down But I'm driving through the little town of Taylorsville right now And today is the 24th of March and we've had some warm weather I've seen some reports that people are starting to catch some of the males um, But I just kind of wanted to go down here this morning. I got some coffee and I wanted to see um, what these fish are doing so here's the wonderful little town of Taylorsville and so I'm going to go ahead and make this left here and this is going to take me past the police station here and then the high school once we get further ahead. Once I get to this light I'm going to take a right and that's going to continue on to 44 east to head towards the lake the marina the state park etc all right so i'm going to get in the fast lane here and that little turn right there is actually on the way to the marina and the tailwater area if you ever want to go there that lake city mart they are actually getting ready to open back up and from what I hear, they are going to actually get minnows and everything back, and they're going to have a little selection of tackle and stuff. So, looking forward to seeing that open back up. As you can see, you got the dogwoods in bloom on the side of the road. It's one of the main signs that the spring white bass run is about to start. Always a good reminder of spring and everything coming back to life. So you're going to want to make sure here that you continue on 248 or Briar Ridge Road and do not make that left on the 44. And we are going to continue on this road all the way down until you hit 1579 which is one of the key turns to make sure you get to the right area. I'm going to go through this corner here and right there in that corner, the upside down sign is the Briar Ridge General Store. We're going to continue on here and keep on going. Now we're crossing into Anderson County. Getting close here to one of our big turns. Alright, so we're going to slow down here. It says 1579, so we're going to take a left here. Now, if I wanted to go to the overpass of the lake, where a lot of times I'll go early in the season up by the quarry is straight ahead, but I'm going to make a left here to go down where we chase the main part of the white bass run down River Road. So you'll just continue on this road until you see a turn for Palmer Road and it is a kind of a little bit of a hidden turn all right so as we come up here there's like a hump here but here is here's palm road now i do want to remind you all that this is a one lane little road here and there are people that live out here so just keep your speed to a reasonable level You know people out here they got kids and stuff and you know this time of year this road is going to see a lot more traffic than it sees any other time of the year because all these people coming down here to try to fish for white bass got a speed bump watch out for that there Alright, so once you get down here guys, this is actually the original parking lot here. 
and then you have river road that's going to go this way and down that way a lot of times you'll hear people talk around about the turnaround so whenever you come to the bottom of this hill and you're coming in towards the parking lot if you make a right and go that way and go all the way to the end where there's a turnaround that's the turnaround so that's going to be where those white bass are when it really just first gets going so that's probably the way i'm going today but thanks to the kentucky department of fish and wildlife they did a lot of work down here to increase the parking amount um, which is really important especially whenever they have the these gates closed for the turkey season um, but uh yeah i got a nice new parking lot here but if you just walk if you just want to park here and go straight down and you always start there and then work your way up and down but for today since it's so chilly and early i'm going to go down to the turnaround but hopefully guys if this gave you a value please give it a thumbs up and if you do come down here this year to try to fish for a white bass just make sure you're respectful and you clean up all your crap when you're down here because that's the biggest thing that drives me nuts is all the crap that gets down here so I went ahead and drove on down to the turnaround and parked down at the turnaround and walked down to the river to see if I couldn't locate some white bass. Looks like a few people have been coming down here, traipsing through the mud, trying to see if these white bass aren't moving yet. <sighs> Glad that sun's coming out, feels good. Well, I'm going to tie on a jig and See what we can find. See if we can find anything. There we go. There's a fish. So a little white bass that's what we're looking for it's like the third cast I think Well, I hope this video helped you guys out. I've had quite a few questions on how to get down to where the white bass run is on the Salt River. Um, but as always, guys, if I see you out there, please come say hi. And don't forget, get outside, do something awesome, and take somebody with you if you get a chance. And I'll see you on the water.